Okay. This is an emergency podcast, so it's just going to be me today. Um, I, I just quit my job. And it's been about a week or so. It's just it's just starting to settle in. It's just starting to settle in. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm making this podcast episode as a call for help. <laughs> but let me roll the intro. Like three years or so, I was just working in the medical field, helping elders at a daycare, and I couldn't tell you how I ended up working there. Honestly, I remember COVID was still fresh in the air, and 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 I remember the virtual move from in-person class to online class, and let's just say that it kicked my ass. So I just decided decided to drop out. And I decided to just find a job that was easy for me. Easy for me to fund my, whatever the fuck I was doing back then. I know I was drinking a lot of Parmesan, I know that much. Probably whatever, whatever made my shit buy. And to be honest, I got comfortable. I, I got comfortable making $300 a week. I got comfortable not even thinking about the future, not even thinking about what I really wanted for myself. I had dreams of, being a rapper that's in the NBA, that made it to the NBA, and and now, and now that that dream has gotten so far away from me that it feels like a, a mere childhood memory that's that's I can barely remember. Now looking back on it, I mentally I was mentally sleep. I was mentally sleep. I was I wasn't aware of my environment. I wasn't aware of my situation. I wasn't aware of what I wanted from myself, you know? I was simply just getting used to it and rolling with the punches. That was until I read this book, Experimental Millionaire, and it had the Momentum Mori Life Chart in there. And to tell you what the, let me, let me get, thank you, thank you. My director, Wapinator, the one and only. The Momentum Mori Life Calendar, Momentum Mori Latin for Remember Your Death is a powerful concept that's been used for centuries to help people focus on what truly matters. The calendar was designed as an interactive tool to help you harness the concept by visualizing your life week by week. Honestly, the second second that I read that, I felt like I woke up to reality. I felt like it was the first time where the gears in my brain started turning. And I just instantly looked myself in the mirror. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? The first thing I did that very second, I started planning, you know. I started planning where I was at that time, where I still am, and I started thinking about where I wanted to be tomorrow. After looking at this chart, I I physically, I started feeling the seconds countdown, and I never felt this sense of urgency before in my life, really. But to to be truly honest, it felt like the heaviest weight you could ever drop on yourself. You know, it, it was no preparation. I never seen it coming. Just in one split second, you go from letting the wind blow you wherever it wants to now, it, I gotta grab this bitch by the heels and drag her, you know? I, I instantly just started asking myself, I instantly started asking myself, is this the life that I wanna live? Is this the job that I want, you know? You know, I was so, excuse me, let me let go. I was so, is this the life I want to live? Like, is this the job that I want? Is this the... I, I remember being in that moment. I was at work, and my boss was right in front of me. And I just remember thinking, like, does this lady give a fuck about my future at all? And honestly, that question, it wasn't that hard to answer because my boss looks like this. But this is... Honestly, this shit ain't... This, shit ain't, this shit ain't about my boss. This shit... I'm not here to talk about her. This is about me. Um, so basically, after after I went to the bathroom, splashing water in my eyes, I got myself together. I genuinely started planning my great escape. You know, my my great escape to to escape the comfortable environment I went. I'm in. You know, a lot of people would stay in that comfortable environment. Some people would call it a safety net. 
but I feel like at the age of me being at the age of 24, I genuinely feel like I have the time to create my own comfortable environment. And the difference between these environments is one is controlled by another person, if not multiple entities, you know. We, I think, we personally, I really think we should all be able to make our own environments, create our own comfortable environments, but this is, genuinely, this is not, this is not, this is not a video not for everybody. I'm not trying to be motivational here. I'm not trying to make any political statements. This, I'm just venting, you know. Just talking about my situation, you know. I just quit my job. Give me some, give me a damn break. Oh, so how do I quit my job, you ask? Baltimore, bitch. That's a motorized bicycle. Shit sound like a dirt bike. So how do how did I quit my job, you ask? It was it was kinda a little something like this. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Jay! You think you can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. I'm just kidding. I'm not the type of guy. Like, I didn't. I didn't feel like I needed to have a screaming match with her. I mean, I probably did deserve to say fuck a couple times. But even though I was discriminated against, and even though I was never really talked to properly, um, I, I don't deserve. I don't. I don't get the right to judge anybody to to talk to anybody intentionally harmful that way. Because I'm not the judge and I'm far from the executioner. So if you're watching this, Miss Patty Wagon, sign the forms for unemployment because niggas is broke out here. <laughs> so what what is the definition of virgin entrepreneur? Um, before before I tell you the definition of virgin entrepreneur, I want you to pause this video right now and go in the comments and I want you to type your own definition of that because like you would think it's a term you would think it's a term that's already a thing but it's not so fuck it we're gonna break some rules we're gonna break some rules today. Um, my definition of virgin entrepreneur is the definition of virgin entrepreneur is the period of time before one starts his career in entrepreneurship. So that's kind of that's kind of the, the term that's kind of the term I would use to to explain why I am at the point in my life because um, I always been working for somebody else. I always been pushing somebody else's agenda for the betterment of their pockets, you know. And to take it back to that moment of distress when I was like, "What the fuck am I? What the fuck am I doing?" The second thing I thought was, "What the fuck am I going to sell? What is going to be my product?" You know, I remember, I remember feeling like I was finally touching a part of my brain that was never really touched before. That's how I got, kinda got to the term virgin entrepreneur. Um, I'm really a, a transparent person, and every time I come up with a new idea. I like to hear second opinions, other people's opinions. So hopefully, maybe I can turn this virgin entrepreneur into maybe a podcast series documenting my journey in this venture of being an entrepreneur. Uh, maybe, maybe some rich guy that's looking to invest his money sees this. And my message to you is, bet it on black, you never lose. So, 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 what is next? What is next for me? I mean, me personally, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what's gonna happen next. I can't give you a step-by-step -step plan. I can't tell you my next job. The only thing I can tell you is that I wasn't where I wanted to be. <laughs> and that's that's the only reason I need to, to, to quit, to quit my job. For now, I finally get the time to work on this podcast to double down. I finally get the time to do it. Finally get the time. I got a couple scribbles in my notepad, some business ideas. I finally get the time to work like on shit like that. Um, and I appreciate the journey so much. I value the journey so much that I really don't worry about the end goal. 
So I hope I hope you are confident in your future as much as I am. You know, that's that's pretty much the story of how I quit my job. I hope this was a good thing to watch. You know, as you can tell, I've been out here all day filming this. <laughs> Hopefully, I hope someone can relate to this, so you won't feel like you by yourself. Like, um, I hope this can be a community for us. I hope you tune in next time. I hope you're excited. I hope you're as excited for the next episode as me. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how good did I do, how bad did I do. And let me know if I should do that series about the virgin entrepreneur. That's pretty much it. Until next time, goodbye.